Hello and welcome to the quick tour of Power Server. How to deploy your Power Builder existing applications to the cloud automatically. So what is Power Server? Power Server is an add-on for Power Builder that automatically converts existing client server projects into modern installable cloud applications. Automatic conversion means Power Server automatically converts almost every single existing Power Builder feature, including PFC and no application is too large or complex for it to handle. Develop in Power Builder, which means application development and maintenance is still performed in the Power Builder IDE, fully leveraging your team's existing skills. And low cost, completing a cloud conversion typically requires just weeks of work, and its highly scalable architecture requires minimal hardware. So why installable cloud applications? An installable cloud app converges the desktop and the web, giving you the power of a native app along with the benefits of a cloud-native architecture. For internet access, all you need is an internet connection to download and start using the application on a variety of Windows devices. It's more secure because users no longer have direct access to the enterprise database, and all SQL executes on the .NET server safely behind the firewall. Also, elevated privileges are not required to install or run the client app. Automatic updates means application updates are both automatic and incremental, requiring no user involvement and very fast downloads. And there's no user retraining, unlike typical HTML applications, your application is not dumbed down and will look and work exactly as it does today. So how does Power Server work? Let's take a look at how PowerServer deploys existing PowerBuilder projects over the internet and the resulting cloud-native architecture you will achieve. Deploying an existing PowerBuilder project with PowerServer is primarily done through configuration, and the PowerServer compiler generates the corresponding installable cloud app for you. The installable cloud app consists of two components, the client app and the server-side REST APIs, the client app is the visuals of your app while the REST APIs is the data access logic of your app. The web server hosts the client app files and the .NET server executes the REST APIs. The database is only accessed by the REST APIs and users no longer have direct access to the database. Keep in mind that the installable cloud app can be hosted on a public or private cloud or an on-premise server. Now, how does a user actually access your application? Your users securely download your client app over HTTPS protocol to their Windows device. Alternatively, your IT administrator can pre-install the client app. The client app gets data from the database by securely consuming the REST APIs over HTTPS protocol after being authenticated using token technology, such as OAuth. As you can see, this is no longer client-server architecture and very different from traditional remote access solutions, your application is now running as a true, cloud-native architecture. Now for a quick look at how to deploy your existing PowerBuilder projects with PowerServer. Simply generate a new PowerServer project type in the PowerBuilder IDE, and follow the tab step-by-step -step to configure how the compiler should generate your installable cloud app. This configuration is a one-time process per project. Let's look at how seamless it is to download, install, and run an installable cloud app on a new user's machine. First of all, enter the URL of the app. Then, wait for the app to download. Lastly, launch the app. This is a one-time step per app if the app is not pre-installed by your IT administrator. From this point forward, the user would bypass the web browser and simply use the shortcut to directly start the client app. Updating an installable cloud app is also very seamless both for developers and users. All you have to do is go back to your application in the PowerBuilder IDE and make your changes. After changes have been made, simply select to compile the project as an incremental. The application changes have now been deployed to the web server and .NET server. The very next time the user opens the application, the updates will be incrementally downloaded specifically just this window object we modified only. The user didn't have to do any manual step, and the app stays up to date automatically. So try a power server now. You can download a trial or schedule a meeting with a knowledgeable Appian salesperson. So please visit www.appion.com slash products slash power server for more information.
Thanks for watching.